And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzhov Troll Knights. That's right, we're bringing it back. One of our favorite decks to play here on stream and a deck that we've had a lot of success with. Um, this is maybe my favorite deck to play in Standard right now. Um, if it's not this one, it's one of these other two decks. We're playing three of my favorites. Um, all three of these we played last Saturday also, and we're bringing them back, playing them in Ranked. Trying to get to Mythic. We're one win away from Mythic right now, so hopefully we win our first match and get there. Um, it, if you've seen this deck before, you know what it's all about. If you haven't, basically what we have is is just a really solid mid-range deck. We have our early creatures um, that are all knights, that we have a lot of knight synergies between them with like Worthy Knight and Acclaimed Contender. Um, and, you know, we're kind of putting pressure on our opponent, getting ahead, uh, and have our good card advantage stuff with Acclaimed Contender and Midnight Reaper and so on. And But then, you know, like that's that's like kind of like what, what we're doing and, and keeping our opponent busy with all this knight stuff, but then we need to be able to go over the top. And so to go over the top, we have Clackbridge Troll, where if we're doing uh, some chip damage early with these other knights and everything, they probably don't want to take eight damage from a, a five drop. You know, like that's like eight damage is a whole lot. So they're probably going to be sacrificing the goat um, whenever we give them a goat uh, to have us gain three life and draw a card. So we we pay five mana. We get this creature out here that each turn uh, we're gaining three life, drawing a card. So that helps us stabilize. Also, like that extra life is is pretty important, but then we just keep on getting those extra cards each turn. And so that hel helps us hit more land drops, get more of these uh, knights and everything, but then also helps us find ethereal absolutions. And ethereal absolutions um, not only pair perfectly with Clackbridge Troll, where it just kills the goats that they would get, but then also just uh, helps shut down the opponent. If you get, you know, one or two or three of these things in play against like some other creature decks, the game's gonna end pretty quickly, and you know I've we've beaten like Nissa ultimates because if we get three of these in play, <laughs> all their Nissa lands die anyway, um, and so that's what our deck's kind of doing. Like for the late game, is getting these things in play. Um, yeah, that's our deck. That's Orzhov Troll Knights. Let's go ahead and and give it a try here. Like I said, we're gonna play over and ranked. Probably playing four matches, but maybe five if they go fast. Our Mardu enchantments matches went pretty fast, so we got we got to squeeze a fifth one in there. Yeah, I, this is not. Yeah, I, I'm not interested in playing Hushbringer at all in this deck. Uh, we have the Ethereal Absolutions to kill the goats, but uh, I do want you know I I want uh, Midnight Reaper is just too powerful a card where Hushbringer shuts down Midnight Reaper. Um, you know, that's an ET you know, this thing has an ETB effect, of course, a claimed contender as well. Um, yeah, just not not too interested in playing Hushbringer in this deck, because Midnight Reaper is one of our very best cards. Alright, we need to draw lands. We got good spells. Hey, yeah, thanks, Kale. Thank you so much. Awesome. Hope you're enjoying Esper Law. Alright, so I feel like my opponent has Murderous Rider in hand for how they're playing. I cast Midnight Reaper right now, they just, in response, kill something. Maybe get this damage in here first. Now Midnight Reaper. Yeah, the R means that we're playing the deck in ranked. Alright, hopefully we draw another land. See them having uh, the Wicked Wolf here. Wouldn't be too surprised about that. All 
All right, the Mayhem Devil. <laughs> kill it, kill it. Wow. We said you you just ignore me like the salad bar at Golden Corral. Wow. Talking to Storm there in chat. Well, that's a pretty good line. Say, especially the the salad bar at um, Fogo to Chow, for sure. All right, so they're four color food, or maybe just soul tie food. No, they just they just played a mayhem devil. All right, never mind. They're four color food. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to spark. Don't really want noxious grass. I mean, it kills Oko. I think our deck's perfect. Yeah, this is a Corvold deck. If we can get Ethereal Absolution in play, it shuts down um, Cauldron Familiar, which is Oven. So that's pretty nice. Hmm. Big question is if I so I can either play play knight and then worthy play Ebon Legion then worthy knight then then Paragon slash Rider or I could go nothing worthy knight and then just go knight plus Paragon and I get the extra one one. Now nah, I'm getting this thing in play. What are your opinions on Spectre Shriek versus Duress? I think Spectre Shriek, it, while it's very good against, hmm, is that a trade I'm making? Yes, it is. I think it's very good against decks that have black in it, but I don't think it's it's good enough cyborg card because I don't think it's it's good enough against um, non-black decks. I think that exiling a, a card in your hand as well to choose one of theirs is a pretty pretty steep cost and not quite worth it because of that steep cost. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. It's not poison. Trust me. Wallow in your deceit. Hey, Frank. Those blind to tyranny are lost. You just can't. Stop. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Unfortunately, there was another Oko. We killed one, but it didn't go away. There's another one. And all your cares are gone. I guess I keep that because I do want to play Ethereal Absolution this next turn. Oh, sorry. The next BNR announcement is on Monday. Mm. 
All right, so sacrificing my worthy knight to get that Oko out of here. I think it's a fair trade. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Let's broaden your existence. So again, I'm, it's a bad, like that's a bad trade for Knight of the Ebon Legion, but it, again, it trades with Oko, so. <clears throat> Trip's gone, do they have the fourth? No. All right, so now I gotta deal with this Corvold, uh, which is not gonna be easy. Good. That was the block I wanted them to make. I hope they have Veil of Summer. They're just sitting on. All right, Corvold's out of here. So now I can either draw a card with Castle or I can make a 2-2 flyer um, by exiling one of their things. So they got, what, a Corvold and a Paradise Druid? So they only have two things for me to eat. I can't exile my own creatures with this. It has to be opponent's creatures. I think it's probably better just to draw a random card in my deck over and make a 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Alright, I guess we play Castle, because then I can draw a card and make a 2-2. Two -two. Yes, there's only two only two things for me to eat. Oh, that was just a, a dead card. I guess we lost a life. Just a tribute. Okay. You coming up here? Hey there. Okay, it's like, what's up, everybody?
<laughs> Got the sniffles. Hey, there's no reason to take the to target the cauldron familiar. Ugh. I'll have to wait till next turn to play that. Yeah, like they can keep bringing, they can they can sacrifice the food to the cat to make me lose a life and they gain a life and do one damage, but like the cat just dies immediately again, and as you can see, that's what that's what Hawkeye's not so happy about. I, mean, I have nothing else to do with this mana. I guess I'll, I'll try. I'll be able to sacrifice it. I didn't have enough mana to activate. Like, so I could have just activated Arden Veil. Vale. I couldn't like activate Arden Veil vale and other things. So, just activated that and gave it a try here. Hey, Malarkey. Yeah, just right down the road. No, my, they tapped the wrong castle. Of course, they're doing all this in response to the Ethereal Absolution that's going to make my creatures 3-3s. Three Hey, Malarkey. Alright. Got the win. Yep, looks like we are going to be mythic. Rank up. Good job, Hawkeye. All right, doors off troll knights getting us to mythic.
Yay! Mythic! <laughs> Boom. You've been here the last three times we've reached Mythic Storm? Nice. I'm pretty excited about zombies in Historic with Crypt Breaker. Crypt Breaker is the real deal. Whoa, QQ with some Mythic hype. Thanks, QQ bot. That mythic hype. Where are we at? Number 359. Good number. Alright, so since we have the Temple of Skrylance, we're going to go ahead and lead with it. so that we can, Because we want to play Worthy Knight on turn 2. If I would have had an untapped White Source, I you know probably would have led with the Evan Legion. Oh yeah, M19 Liliana. Definitely playable. The latest set, as in like like Throne of Eldraine. Oh yeah, I like Throne of Eldraine. I think it was a cool set. I like there's a, you know, like there's just a, a couple of cards that I don't that I think were like just kind of too pushed kind of thing, or I don't don't love. Wow, I'm surprised they just waited. It didn't kill that thing right away. You know, like Questing Beast. You know, like that was a card just, you know, ever since seeing it preview. Same with Oko. Oko, Questing Beast, those are two cards, like, looking at them previewed, just like, these are just too pushed. Kind of unnecessarily pushed. What do I mean by two push? I mean, um, too, too good of rate for what you have to spend on the card. It's like for three mana for Oko, and four mana for Questing Beast, they kind of just do too much. There's the questing beast. Yeah, now the Evan Legion is pushed. Yep, that's that's a good example of a pushed card. And yeah, exactly what Shield says. Yeah, yeah, Wizards intentionally pushes cards to to make them fun and constructed because you want people excited about your your set and everything, and um, the one they want the the new set to always make a splash and constructed and everything. So yeah, some cards are pushed, but yeah, sometimes they go a little too far. Um, and like this was an example of one in, in my opinion. Just too, it's just too efficient, just too brutally efficient. Just give this thing like not vigilance, or you know like don't have it have this first clause or something. You know like this just has too much stuff, in my opinion.
So Oko is Roman Reigns. Is that the that's the wrestling analogy there? They could have still just, like, my acclaimed contender is indestructible, but they could have still just blocked it with the 5-5, five five, but I guess they didn't want to because of, like, Black Lance Paragon or something. So even if my opponent has Ember Cleave here, I can block with both creatures and not die. Because they could do 12 trample damage and I have 2 toughness. So I want to make sure we didn't die to Ember Cleave still. Well, I mean, I guess if they, yeah, because they had to block because I had lethal. I'd block something, but I guess they could have just blocked here and kept the 4-3 alive and then it attacked me with Ember Cleave. So I guess I could have died to Ember Cleave. <laughs> Not that anybody asked or cares, but my dad's name is Todd and my name's Steven. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Hawkeye, what are we doing against the Gruul deck? We we grasping? We grasping for beasts? I do kind of feel like Ethereal Absolution may be a little slow. Yeah, Anna Train, your good luck. No, we lost our first two and won the next four. Kept on winning since you logged in. Your good luck. <laughs> yeah, I have the full set of Ethereal Absolution in here. Am I supposed to be playing Disparks? Probably. All right, let's try this. You like Legion's End? I kind of wish I was keeping one Ethereal Absolution in here. That's pretty expensive, and their creatures hit real hard. Mm, Soren can give all, all our creatures lifelink, though. And can bring back, like, a Midnight Reaper or something like that. Yeah, this is a playlist that we're listening to. This is my stream playlist. Here's the Spotify. There's the link right there. Why is nobody playing Elementals? I don't know. I, 
I haven't seen all. So yeah, you're doing great with elementals. I haven't. Every time I've tried elementals, I've just been losing. Um. So I don't know. Yeah, but you're you're doing. I guess you said you have a seventy percent win rate. Yeah, that's that's awesome. But I haven't like all like whenever I play elementals, my five mana elementals get run out or they get turned into elks. Um. And like my hands just kind of slow compared to what other people are doing, and and like Edgewall Innkeeper just outclasses my Risen Reef for much for just one mana instead of three mana, and it's just a little slow. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, you must be doing something different that's that's working out for you. Arcpo Ranger just spiked massively in value. I don't I don't know why. Just exclamation point playlist for the playlist. Hawkeye's in front of my keyboard. I can't type it. <laughs> Whatever changes they make to the VNR don't make Ashiok, don't cause Ashiok to make a comeback. So I'm glad to be able to play Grixis Reanimator again. All right, we're two zero. All right, so there's your elemental list. Yeah, I'll I'll give that a try there. Um, holy Hagen, I'll I'll give it a try sometime soon. Like probably this, probably this weekend. I'll give it a try. I, I think elementals definitely have potential, but I just haven't had success with it myself. All right, we need land drops. Go, troll, go. Where are we at? Ooh, 271. Land drop. Oh, no, I just played the wrong one. Ah, oh, it's focused on this. Whoops. Oh, awesome, e-boy. Cool, I'm, I'm glad your brother was really cool, too. All right, well, that was the wrong night to play. <laughs> How's Watsy not create a card called Land Drop? All right, so they're playing Sultai, and I don't have, I have one less 1-1. One, one. I should have a 1-1 one, one that I don't have. Correct. Ashiok does not stop Fae of Wishes, because correct. Ashiok only stops Library, so it does not stop you from going to your sideboard. Um, am I participating in Mythic with your ranked rating? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're, we're playing in Mythic right now. This is my cue to aim. Please don't just have Oko turn after turn after turn again. Your demise won't be quick. Oh, I won't forgive this. All 
All right, I need this Ethereal Absolution in the back here. So normally it would be good to just play the Clackbridge Troll here and start getting that, that thing going. Gaining three life, drawing a card a turn. But if I do that, I can't really kill Vraska. I mean, they can chump block. Hmm. That's okay. So yes, I could have played it second main, and then they couldn't jump block and I could kill Vraska. But I think I like getting rid of the two goats. I think playing the Clackbridge Troll second main means that then if they play like you know an Oko, turn it into an Elk, um, that's pretty rough for me. They have the three goats there still. We got rid of two of the two of the goats already. Why do they have to have the Oko? Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. Oh dear. Hmm. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. It's unfortunate. I <laughs> know we already got rid of one. Why do I have to have more? I, I have no, I've never tried any kind of infinite life gain loop with Bishop of Wings, Divine Visitation, and Marauding Raptor. Huh. No. But it yeah, if, if you have a if you have an, an infinite loop in arena, what happens? What should happen is it just makes the game a draw. It just should just say just the game like the game just turns it'll just say like draw and then you go to sideboarding. So that's what would happen with the Polyraptor Marauding Raptor combo. Uh, get out of my way. Alright, so my line of letting Vraska live to try to make Clackbridge troll better has not paid out. Hey, thanks, Anna Tran. Thank you so much for the bits there. We will not hey, track team day is going really good. Could this be? Yeah, I mean, I think you could just play it as is and built in best of one. Um, maybe you want a little less ethereal absolution, lower the curve a little bit, but I think it'd be pretty fine in best of one. All right, so it looks like my opponent's got a Sultai Walker list. We're going to have to make sure we have a lot of Planeswalker removal here post-board. Smelly, but effective. Everyone is expendable, except me. All right, so I want all these Noxious Grasps. Um, need three to spark. Yeah, just get rid of these Planeswalkers. All right, I'm going to cut two Trolls, the Wintermore Commanders, and Acclaimed Contender. Here we go.
So that's that's what we're gonna have here. I don't have any elder spells in the sideboard. That game would have been a whole lot different. Honestly, if we just if we didn't mulligan, if we had like our six card hand, if it was seven, because remember how I had to put that ethereal absolution down to the bottom? If I would have just been able to have that exact same hand and everything as is, and I had ethereal absolution that I could have played after the Clackbridge troll, we would have uh, killed that goat right away and then been able to kill Oko and Pressure Vraska and not have to use that Murderous Rider. And then I would have had the Murderous Rider for the Liliana and, and of course, had the the ethereal absolution in play and, and honestly that game is just so much different like they just they're down to like just having nissa and i have ethereal absolution and like we're actually kind of fine there but we mulliganed okay good looking hands So question, do we play Worthy Knight or do we hold up to Spark? I'm going to hold up to Spark. I don't know if they have Wicked Wolf with all the Planeswalkers that we saw, but I'd be kind of surprised they didn't have Wicked Wolf. Obviously, if they just have Golgari Queen here, that's not that big a deal, but Wicked Wolf is a bigger deal. here. Uh, same thing. Gonna just hold up Murderous Rider. It could have dealt another three damage and then put him down to five, but I like holding up the Murderous Rider here. Kind of just dead. <laughs> so if they sacrifice their, their food, I was just going to pump Knight of the Ebon Legion so Knight wouldn't die. I would just pump it. And then I would untap and then swift end their blocker that they had left because they would have tapped their creature. Yeah, so they're just kind of dead there. They had to fight my 3-1 and then also not sacrifice. And just let it die. Ooh. 
my opponent's playing Legion's End. I'm just gonna quit magic. Just that'll be it. We had a good run. Just be too perfect on Knight of the Ebon Legion. It'll be the end. Darn. I know playing all these out wasn't great against Wicked Wolf, but that was the best option. They don't have more of those. I kind of want to save these for Planeswalkers. What's up, HXC? Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Our sixth sub of the day. Welcome back. Three months. Ugh. Stop. Anyway, is Ethereal Absolution good here? Yes. It's very good here. It uh, makes it pretty hard for their... It just makes combat really easy for me. Um, and when you start piling them up, um, that's increased even more. Yeah, I did not did not try to trade. Those blind to tyranny are lost. They just can't see it. A knight for a paradise shirt before, but maybe I should have. Let's broaden your existence. I'm good at what I do, and what I do is win. I'm good. Oh, the day is yours. Killed all my knights. Bad.
So that's bad against Liliana, but then I get this extra 2-3 in play here. But that's kind of rough against Liliana. Alright, well. It's not great. See, this would be this is why Ethereal Absolution is so good. Because if we draw one, suddenly my murderous rider is bigger than their wolves. And like my my castle that's like making creatures are just as big as those wolves. I can't just sit here and take six damage though. On absolution, we got four of them in here. Nope. Is that all four wicked wolves? It's three of them. Pretty good. We're ahead here. I think we can just take the trade to try to finish this thing out. All right, that should be it. I guess I can't stop that. Unified to Spark Masker Girl. Like, that's that's just part of the trigger. So Masker Girl doesn't have to be on the battlefield. And I use that to spark because if they if they do draw uh, Oko, I have a card for Oko. All right, good. They've drawn a couple of lands as well. I think that's game. We'll see. There we go. We're three now. This deck's just good. It's our third time to play it, and we've had really good records with this deck each time we've played it.
And we got a pack. We've gone five. Yeah, we were five and one and four and one with the other two times that we've played this deck, and now three and zero. So we're what? We're twelve and two. And both of our losses were like really bad mana troubles. Also, we are undefeated against Oko decks. We're something like like five and zero, six and zero, something like that against Oko decks. Maybe seven, probably six. Yeah, it's just packed full of rares. It's just packed full of rares. You've tried this a couple of times and you didn't do well with it? NS Mash? Dang, what what'd you struggle with? Hey, <laughs> yeah, see? Don't need a ban Oko, you just need to play more Ethereal Absolutions. No, there's no there's no purpose of not clicking on the vault. Like the only reason to not click on the vault um, is if you want to just look at your progression as it goes. It doesn't make your pro progression go faster or anything like that. Just kind of a if you want to like show off and say, look, I have this vault open, and you can watch it go from like 103.4 percent to 104.6 percent, and so on, or you can just open it and get the wild cards. All right, well, they're on the play. If they got turn two Oko, I got nothing for it. So this could be a loss. It's not like it's not like we're, like, beating the Oko decks by a whole lot. As you saw, like, that last match, very close. All, and, like, so many of these games have just been really close that they've been going my way also. I wouldn't say that this deck's just going to just dominate Oko decks into the future. They removed it from the logs, so you can't even check the vault anymore by, like, looking at the logs. Hmm. Turn three Nissa, please no. Just play Questing Beast. Questing Beast. Questing Beast. Ugh. Well, GG. Power surges through these lands. A two mana creature is not usually going to be as powerful as Nissa who shakes the world. I'd like to have a Midnight Reaper. But we also need to find a Murderous Rider. Yeah, when they play your 5-mana walker and you're sitting on your two lands, you're probably dead. Ah, that's the card I needed last turn. I need that one last turn. The land shall conquer you. Just kind of sacrificing their lands. If I if I top deck Murderous Rider to kill this Nissa, they're not going to really have any lands left. Oh, 
Or maybe their whole hands lands. Why isn't Thieva Sandy a rogue? It could be. Yeah, that could be a rogue. You had to work with Rob Brother Rich. That'd be cool. What is what's the what is the creature type for Thief of Sanity? I don't know what it is. Behold, nature's true power. It's a specter. I kind of want to double block this breeding pool. <laughs> Thief of Sandy is subtype spooky boy. Should have double blocked the breeding pool. Not Murderous Rider. <laughs> hey, yo, Silver. Welcome to the channel. All right, now it's time to draw a whole bunch of ethereal absolutions. Now it's time to draw a whole bunch of ethereal absolutions. Be wary of, of course, I already got one down at the bottom of the library. Why? Why not? Um. No, I don't need a block. I could have not played the troll and then hoped to top deck Murderous Rider here. Okay, good. It wasn't Murderous Rider. If it's not Murderous Rider, this is my best play. Getting this other troll in play. So now we're gaining six life a turn. There's one absolution. It's the first of three that we need. Maybe more than three. Spring eternal. Would it make sense for them to ultimate first and then cast once upon a time whenever they have less lands in their deck? It's a lot easier chance to hit Krasis. I mean, they still hit Krasis either way, so they're good, but wouldn't that make sense? Not any Murderous Rider to kill this Hydro Crisis. Oh, 
Oh, I should attack them. Right? 18. Why did I attack them? Oh, they they have oh they have they have all these foods. Okay, never mind. They could sack multiple foods. All right, they're good. Okay, yeah, they have the foods. Because they could have sacked two foods, gone to twenty. Yeah, no, attacking Nissa was right. They had four mana at the time. Like these things had two mana each. Ether Gust hurt a bunch. Let him get Nissa back. That hurt. Gotta find murderous riders still. Nope, no murderous rider. There's no murderous riders in the top half of the deck. Alright, three grass, three to spark. Two troll, one contender, and the commanders. Let's go. Lost game one last time, too. Okay. Game number two. As we see, we gotta gotta be able to answer those planeswalkers. Now we can. So this is a good start. Yeah, I just don't. I don't. Yeah, Legion's Ed is can exile goose and Crisis, but I don't want to water down my deck even more with uh, more removal spells, basically. <laughs> Thanks, Criticom. I I don't I don't know. I don't think the standards format's as bad as other people think. I guess. Um. Okay. Yeah, the R means ranked. Um, but yeah, of course we need we need to keep a good amount of knights in to like help and creatures and everything make every the rest of our deck work well. I should have played this. I'm just already in, in the process of playing that.
Kind of feels like my opponent may have... Sure. Kind of feels like they may have... Um, Veil of Summer. Wanted to hold that up. Maybe not. But yeah, this is going to cost me two life for not playing the Goblet Shrine this last turn. So I'd, ideally we play Ethereal Absolution first and then we play the troll and then they don't even get the um Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. The other things. Your new look is enchanting. Castle's good as far as the land goes, but. I see you don't share my vision. Seriously? Yeah, that negate was big game. Imagine having two of these things out here right now. <laughs> yeah, Absolution and Joel is awesome. Okay. We got that game. Now we got to win one on the draw. Hope our Absolution doesn't get negated again. Hopefully. Let's give it a try. Don't have an answer to turn two, Oko. So please don't have turn two, Oko. Yay. Fable Passage. No. Hushbringer is really bad in my deck. And it's also not a knight for all of my knight synergies. But Midnight Reaper is, is key. I mean, Midnight Reaper is just a really powerful card. I don't want to shut that down.
should have played this swamp first. Because then maybe they don't block. Because the black man's paragon. Hey, Daryl. I was hoping they had Wicked Wolf. And spin you clarity. Oh dear. Mm, you're too close minded. Now I don't have an answer to Wicked Wolf. It's good, but my life total is a little low. So the rider checks the Hydra. Yay. Letting them on tap did let them have, you know, Veil of Summer or Negate, which would have been bad. I wish a claimed contender grabbed a theoretical absolution. Wait, did we see an absolution in there? I don't think we did, did we? There was another worthy knight. I will protect the virtue of this world. Nope. There's a Soren. Mm. Behold, nature's true power.
Hey, how about that? Alright, so we'll get all this stuff out here so then I can play Ethereal Absolution and attack next turn. The land shall conquer you. I can't I can't block the questing beast anymore. Ugh, but I'm getting three life with murderous rider here anyway. I have to pressure this Nissa. Really don't want the Nissan ultimate. Hey Alder 2, I'm doing good. A little surprised they just let me keep Murderous Rider. They didn't block Murderous Rider. Like I'm I'm kinda of surprised they killed the 4-4 instead of the 3-4 lifelink. Well, now if we draw an untapped land, we can get two flyers with absolution. Otherwise you can just get one flyer or a soldier here. That's not bad. This is why... This is why Absolution... Is so good. It, it turns my... Turns my tutus into being just as good as... Like, it turns like my 1-1 tokens being just as good as their Nissa lands. Which is pretty awesome. Wow, that is devastating. Uh, 
That was a great card for my opponent to have. Yeah, I think I have to kill the forest here. Do not assume I am fragile. Wow, that was great. If I would have made a... Yeah, it says, why don't I make a flyer in response? If I would have made a flyer in response, it would make their block on Knight of the Ebon Legion very easy. I like blocking with the Paragon, because even with playing Ethereal Absolution, the Paragon's still just a 4-2, so it's still just trade anyway. Alright, I'm glad they just drew a land, so they don't have another blocker. That was pretty clutch for me, them, them just drawing a land here. That really helped out. Cease this aggression. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Good, not crisis. And it's looking good. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Yeah, it looks like they... I mean, they're not, they're not just playing it like it was a land. So maybe it's, um, like, maybe it's Brazen Borrower again. They have less than nine minutes left. What am I at, 19? Wow. Kind of assume they just let Nissa die here. I can, I can just double activate, you know, we got eight mana now, so we can double activate Ethereal Absolution to get a couple of tutus to help block. I can't double activate these things. I could, I could also draw one card with Castle and make one, make a tutu. So I could also draw a card and make a tutu or make two tutus. I don't like just taking their time. So yeah, can they kill me? Can they do eight more damage to me in seven and a half minutes? Maybe not. Mm. 
My strength fades. Okay. Pass turn. So is it Brazen Borrower? To bounce Absolution? Okay. So yeah, we're going to make a couple blockers here. I'll be chump chumping the breeding pool. Make sure our life total stays high. Okay. GG's. And we're 4 and 0. Oh. 6 o'clock. We got time for one more match. We're let's play one more. I'll go ahead and reset Arena since we've played an hour and a half since our last reset. We're going to play one more here. We'll play a fifth match with Orzhov Troll Knights. Also, see if we can get the 5-0. And then we'll move on. Then we'll play Grixis at Mass. And then finish up with our donation deck with Jeskai Storm there. GG's. Okay, still undefeated against Oko decks with this deck for the three times that we've played it. To go back and look to see exactly how many Oko decks we've beaten, it's we beat at least like I think we beat five the other two, and then we've beaten two this time. I think it's seven now. I think we're seven zero against Oko decks with this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to jinx it. I'm trying. Um, Jeskai fires is. Is pretty decent. Like Deafening Clarion is awesome. Love Deafening Clarion. Um, Fires of Invention, of course, as a card itself, is very powerful too. Enchantments are <clears throat> positioned pretty well right now. A little worried about. A little worried about the deck, about Jeskai Fires, like, finishing games out, you know, winning games and everything. Um, I don't I don't love Sarkin. Also, it's like, you know, that's like the win con, but I, it's pretty vulnerable. I need to get Liliana wallpaper. I've had the uh, Nicol Bolas wallpaper here for a little while. All right, kind of wish I would have had the the Soren now instead. I like the Planeswalker version more than the Cavalier version. <clears throat> I just don't like the Cavalier version with all these Okos everywhere. Hey, thank you so much, Mountain Boy Cat. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. All right, Selesnia. So well, I'm glad we. Kept Ethereal Absolution. Let's see if we can survive to get to it. Um, I don't want to see any elephants. Hope we're as disappointed as Lena Headley for not seeing any elephants. The best version of Fires is your best of one that you played on Monday. Um. Oh yeah, that Teamer Fires, that was fun. 
Yeah, I like I like Marty Fire stuff. What uh Queen Cersei? Yeah, who yeah, Queen Cersei. She always wants to see elephants. I don't. I do not want to see elephants. Um Wow, that's pretty great, Ho Holy Hagen. Thank you so much. No! That's basically an elephant. That's something that pumps their creatures. I don't know. Maybe I should just chump with the Midnight Reaper there. Like on the 6-6. Six -six. Just, just to get it out of here so I don't like lose a lot of life. But all their things were indestructible. So it's not like I could make any trades there. Unbreakable formation, pretty powerful. Wait, what was the first deck ever that you won 20 in a row with? With the Fires best of one that we played on Monday? I can block Intruder. I don't have to work. Like, yeah, this thing, if it deals da damage to me, I can block that thing pretty easily. There you go. There's the deck list right there, Moonbreaker. So with the Thero if I draw the land and get to play Ethereal Absolution, it will turn this Edgewall Innkeeper that's a 2-2. This will turn into a 1-1, so they could still attack with Lovestruck Beast. I don't think I even... None of these were really lands, were they? So we probably have a land on top because didn't weren't these just all spells? I need to like take take a closer look to, to stuff. But yeah, I, th I think those were like all spells. All right, well, we'll get to draw two cards. Look for a land. That one's not a land. Next one, land. Lanto. Darn. There's all my lands. Gross. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You start with silver. That's that's okay. That's still good. That's still that's still great. All right, Storm, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. So I don't want them to have Conclave Tribunal. I guess that's the real big thing I don't want them to have. right now but obviously this is going poorly for me not having this ethereal absolution to get rid of at least one of the innkeepers they're drawing millions of cards I hope they attack with this love struck beast I want to trade my Midnight Reaper for it, and I also want to draw two cards, make it easier to play this Absolution this next turn. And then I also want to draw another Absolution. I want to draw land and more Absolutions. Uh, they still had a land drop. Bleh.
Cookie MC with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Dang, they found an elephant. And they played it perfectly against the Theoral Absolution. And another sub here with Fluky Flit. Welcome to the stream as well. That gets us to our sub goal, our first sub goal of the day. So we'll mark that down towards our next 12 hour stream. So I like doing every 10 subs is a sub goal and then every 20 sub goals we do a 12 hour stream. So that's, that's sub goal number 11 out of 20, so we're a little bit over halfway there. Still no land. All right, let's mark that down. Oh, that's number 12, actually. We hit number 11 last time. That's number 12. Midnight Reaper only draws cards whenever your creatures die, not tokens. Midnight Reaper doesn't trigger off tokens. But also, my life total was low. I was at 8. I don't want to risk like having to like trade off a bunch of stuff. And dying. <sighs> dying would be bad. I mean, now, now all they need is just another fairy guide mother to kill me. I mean, I need to get this down two turns ago to kill at least two of these edge wall innkeepers, keep them from drawing all these cards. Like, they've drawn, like, another, like, six or seven cards. Um, you know, imagine them having six less cards. That would have been nice. Hey, Mad Ferret, thank you so much. Thanks for that donation there, Mad Ferret. I think it's very kind. Cheers. So I assume that my opponent just had March of the Multitudes that they were just saving to see and they were just saving for end step and that we're gonna die. It's my assumption there. I demand servitude. <laughs> Thanks, my favorite. Hey, Goat. Yeah, we got a fun one. I 
I don't know, maybe games two and three will actually play at the Aerolab Solution. Do you think there's any way that my opponent doesn't know that I have a Theorial Absolution? Pretty sure they were tuned into the stream there, which, you know, is their... Which they can do, you know, like I'm... I can't stop them from doing that, but just for... I'm just saying that because of how slow they were playing and everything, and then turning the Edgewall and Coopers into the 2-2s. Seems like they're they're pretty aware of what... I was trying to do there. Which, all I'm saying by that, like, you know, that's whatever. I'm not complaining about it. What I'm saying is that it may be difficult for me to rely on Ethereal Absolution games two and three here. Um, I may want to spark for Conclave Tribunal. That's probably like their main way of dealing with absolution is tribunal. That seems kind of weird that like to play to spark where it doesn't really do anything at all except for tri tribunal and Luxodon. Though. And the other thing is I don't really have other things to I don't have things to cut. So I just don't play Soren. Just don't play all these noxious grasps. Yeah, let me. Yeah, if you're gonna make a best of one version of the deck we're playing. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. Keeper's rough. That's definitely a card I didn't really want to see. I'll murderous rider it if I can, but it's going to cost another black mana. Hmm. So either I want land or I want legion's end. One of the two. Land or Legion's End? Uh, I'm sorry, Olam. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have any setting there for that. And neither. Neither Land nor Legion's End. All right, can I mulligan my hand now?
Yeah, I saw the news about Historic. Um, I think that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, I, I'm I'm really happy that they're going to start actually um, supporting the format and us, you know, like having events, having ranked with Historic and everything. And I'm I'm glad that they're going to start supporting, you know, non-standard format full time here on Arena. I think that's that's just only it's, it's only good third innkeeper yeah I, I agree too I'm, I'm glad that they're trying here that's a good thing we draw black mana, which we did not, if we did, I was going to be sw swift ending the innkeeper. I'm... Hmm. This is a tough call. I'm pretty surprised they didn't trade their 1-1 for my 3-1. I think Corpse Knight is not as good as Wintermore Commander. Is that the name of the card? Yeah, Wintermore Commander. I like that, that it has Death Touch and can allow you to make some, some good attacks there too. I think I'd, I'd prefer that card to Corpse Knight, but that's yeah, like that's that's the slot that would be for the the two mana card there. You could play either one. Well, if I would have grabbed Worthy Knight, I could have gone Worthy Knight plus have Black Lance Paragon. Now that would have worked out pretty well. The problem with Swift End, at this point, they're saving a white mana. So now they could have the uh, Usher to safety to bounce the Innkeeper. And or Love Struck Beast if I target Beast. I think it's still the best play, though. Let's me attack here. Hey, Rackle Guru, good evening. So unfortunately, they did have Usher to safety. Still have five cards over there. Uh, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. So many cards. Making the obvious blocks. Basically, just making. Uh, 
making this venerate luxodon and unbreakable you know making their cards worse by getting stuff out of here yeah this is orzov troll list i've played a couple of times we're now we're 13 and 2 with the deck but we're not looking great overall for the match this time It'd be nice if they don't draw a triple innkeeper next turn. Next next game. I've had triple innkeeper both of these games. This game's not looking great for me right now. Just have so many cards. Got an extra nine cards. Anyway, Johnny Pot Pie. Reseven there, nine months. Says many thanks for all your wonderful hours of or your hours of wonderful entertainment. We all appreciate you. Thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate you and everyone else as well. All right, so these giant killers are going to be a little problematic to get through. I'm casting this right now because they don't have unbreakable the mana for unbreakable formation. Wow, that's a beating. That's a beating. Oh, wow. Johnny coming in, gifting some subs out as well. So Shorguina, um, Jano Manzo, Dream Walker, Stampit, and Picantus. LP. We'll go with LP. Getting all the subs. Welcome to the channel, all of y'all. I I didn't have the mana last turn. I mean, I, I could have Ridered instead of casting Midnight Reaper. I wanted to get Midnight Reaper in play, though. And then been able to untap Rider and, and attack and stuff. And Trojan Rage also staying on that four months. Um... Thank you so much there, Trojan Rage. Y'all are awesome. Hey, Skin, good evening. So they're going to go to one. No. All right, so we trade, draw a card. <laughs> I 
<laughs> our land has to be a Blains. It can't, can't just be a, a Swamp. Ugh. Worst card in our deck there, Plains. There are less than 12 minutes now. Another match where our opponents playing much, much slower than us. It's going to make life harder. We're not dead yet. I want a Legion's End. Exile these giant killers. That was that was the best case scenario. Was drawing a legion's end, but so is, so this could be thirteen. Okay, never mind. This is lethal. Yeah, it's thirteen. Um, cause like my only blocking is like blocking the five power things. But that's still exactly thirteen. I gain two life with the murderous rider. So you're like, okay, well no, I'm at, I'm alive at two, but then I get the two midnight reaper triggers that finish me off here. Hey, drug wizard, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. All right, got the loss. Still 4-1, awesome league there. I don't feel too bad about that match overall. Like I think we could do I think we would do pretty good uh, if we, you know, we if we played that match um a ton. I I honestly think that we'd be just fine in that matchup. I don't think it's bad for us, but my opponent just had three edge wall innkeepers early both those games. So that happens. Um, but yeah, there's Orzhov Troll Knights, another 4-1. It's another really good showing here for the deck. Um, yeah, not, not really anything that I necessarily want to change about it. Still like everything that we got going on here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we didn't... Um, yeah, didn't get to play too many ethereal absolutions, but that's that's definitely what one of our game plans there. Get to six mana, drop ethereal absolutions. We didn't do a very good job of that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's Orzhov Troll Knights. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, I hope you hit, hit that like button over there. Leave some comments. I would appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.